Patriots beat the Chicago Bears. It was a blowout, 51 to 23. Uh, so, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. what'd you take away from that blowout game? <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, I took away that Tom Brady has never, ever been better than he was yesterday, albeit against the Chicago Bears. But wasn't it just four weeks ago that some analysts were saying Tom Brady is washed R. up? RIP. Right? Yeah. That some are saying that he just doesn't have enough weapons and it's sad what's happened, yeah. what Bill Belichick has done to yes. Tom Brady, who, by the way, went 20 for 20 yesterday throwing to Gronkowski and to his new favorite weapon, Brandon LaFell, 20 for 20. Big picture. You know what I thought happened yesterday? This is just me. Feel free to laugh at me if you so choose. Okay. I thought Tom Brady answered yesterday. He went out of his way to answer what Peyton Manning did last Thursday night, his record-breaking night, when Peyton Manning went 25 of 35 for 286, three touchdowns and no interceptions. So Tom Brady goes 30 of 35 with four drops for 354, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. Take that, Peyton Manning, because obviously Peyton is on his way to Foxborough late next Sunday afternoon. It reminded me a little bit of old school, and this isn't too old for you, but remember how Magic and Bird used to answer each other sort of cross country? Yes. One would do this and the other would do that. And, and if Tom Brady is Larry Bird, I'm not sure I can compare. It's, it's a little disrespectful, frankly, to compare Peyton Manning to Magic Johnson because he doesn't deserve it. Just, okay. just in the big okay. picture. I agree. Because magic is magic. But if, yeah. if you will go with the analogy, it reminded me of an old school answer from yeah. Larry Bird to Magic Johnson. Oh, you did that on yeah, Thursday night? night? Okay. I'm going to do good. that. Watch this because I'm ready for you. And Stephen A., again, what Peyton did, it was against the Chargers, so it was a much higher degree of difficulty. But... Tom Brady was saying bring on Peyton because Tom Brady still owes his team for what he didn't do in the AFC Championship game at Denver last year. And I will remind you, Denver won that game 26-16. to And dare I say that Tom Brady missed some key throws that he usually does not miss. I went so far as to say he stunk it up. He but did. he missed several key throws in that game. He, by his high standards, he does not miss. So he owes his team. And I'm going to go on record right now. Before it even, we're only on Monday. What record? I'm, I'm on record as saying Tom Brady will beat Peyton Manning next Sunday in Foxborough. I, I won't give you a score yet, but I'm saying from what I saw yesterday, Tom Brady is playing at such a supreme high level. And because this is his arch rival, Peyton Manning, this is the man that stands between him and another Super Bowl. I think he will get some revenge this next Sunday in Foxborough. Mm. On the record. Mm. Already. Already. It's Monday. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's special to you, Skip. <laughs> it is, because he is the best quarterback in pro football. I'm sure, I'm sure that's special to you, and you wanted to make that prognostication. Congratulations. Yeah. Who cares? Mm, Here's why. I care. Here's why. You have to be playing against somebody. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to ignore who Tom Brady was playing against yesterday. If you're in the city of Chicago... Oh. This team is <laughs> abysmal. So you're going to discredit Seriously, this is, performance? I'm not, I'm not going to discredit the performance because it's the NFL, and I'm not trying to take anything away from Tom Brady. 30 for 35 for 354 yards, 54 yards with five touchdowns, not a single interception, and a 148 quarterback four drops. rating. You understand? Four drops. And the four drops. Mm -hmm. Listen, it is what it is. But there is something to be said about you playing against a team who was clearly ill-prepared and ill-equipped to compete against you. They wanted to sit there and rave about Gronkowski and how unstoppable he was. He had nine receptions. He was targeted nine times, caught all nine passes, 149 yards, including a 46-yard 46 46-yard and three touchdowns. Last time I checked, Brandon LaFell. Mm -hmm. Brandon LaFell, who was the other guy on the Carolina Panthers yeah. all of these years, yeah. who was barely known playing for Steve Smith. We know he can play. We know he's no scrub, but he was no difference maker. What was he? Targeted all 11 times, made all 11 catches for 124 yards. This Chicago Bears defense was embarrassingly inept. This team was embarrassingly ill-prepared. Yep. They were not ready to play football yesterday. And when you look, and again, we're going get, to get to your guy, Jay Cutler. What is it here? An interception, 
20 for 30, no impact whatsoever. Jay Cutler is a complete waste of time. I agree. It is time for the city of Chicago <laughs> and the Chicago Bears to yep. get a new quarterback. This man is stealing. I, I think they're this, stuck. Listen, listen. This I man think is, they just recommitted to is stealing yep. money. Jay Cutler is a waste of space, mm -hmm. a waste of time. And, and he shouldn't even be in and, and I'm not saying he can't play football. I'm not saying he doesn't have a rightful arm. I'm not saying he doesn't have athleticism. I'm not saying he can't quarterback in the NFL. But in a city like Chicago, he has no business representing that team. That city is a about heart, it is about gut, it is about grit. He and Mark Tressman need to go because Tressman clearly doesn't know what he's doing when it comes to defense. They have sold their proverbial souls in Chicago. This is a franchise that was synonymous from Butkus to Dick and the crew. This they was not Singletary and the boys. All right, I, I mean uh, Richard Dent. Everybody. This team was synonymous with guts and grit and hard nose, mm -hmm. and they have sold their soul. No for offense. And guess what? We can't even find offense with these boys. They are pathetic. And that's what happened yesterday. I am not trying to take away anything from Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. I see them coming on. That's great. But we all understand that if they were playing a better team that was better prepared, even though they may have won, it would not have looked like this. This was like target practice, Skip. It's like damn flag football for crying out loud. It's just embarrassing. I thought it would be closer than this. Yeah, so did I. I thought so everybody. 38-7. You know why? Because the Bears had won three oh, road right. games. Yeah. Three skip, road skip, games. Skip. Jay Cutler beat the 49ers at San Francisco. Yeah. Yes, wow. but you see turnovers happening. You see their defense being suspect. You've got guys like, uh, listen, they can't rush the quarterback. They can't they, they can't defend the pass. You know, they can't defend the run. They can't do anything right on the defensive side of the ball. And offensively, despite having Brandon Marshall, Alshon Jeffrey, Martellus Bennett, okay, with Matt Forte, you got a quarterback that's ill-equipped to utilize them to the max. It's, it's a disaster in Chicago as far as I'm concerned. They are an absolute embarrassment and all it did was validate mm. how Brandon Marshall went off. I'm talking about Brandon Marshall in Chicago, yeah. not the one in Denver. The one in Denver yeah. is actually having a pretty he damn is, good season. This great. dude, Brandon <laughs> Marshall way, in Chicago yeah. is miserable because of the ineptitude he is subjected to having to play with week after week after week. You can't win at home. What makes you think that when you run into a quality role team that you're going to beat them? You can't win on your own home turf. Okay, are you sure? that the New England Patriots didn't just make the Bears look inept yesterday? All I'm saying to you, Skip, is this. We're going to watch the New England Patriots. I, listen, they didn't make Kansas City look that way. They made Cincinnati look that way. But that was on Cincinnati. That was on their home turf. And we understand where they're coming from with that. All I'm trying to say to you is that still in all, you look at Chicago, they have underachieved time after time after time. It is time we call it like we see it. Jay Cutler needs to go, and so does Mark Tressman. Okay. There was a Brandon Browner sighting yes. yesterday, and he was taking some of those Bears receivers by himself out of the play, starting with Martellus Bennett, who did make one great catch great, for a great, touchdown. Yeah, on him, yeah. But, but look out. The Patriots are starting to come together right on time. Here comes a murderer's row. I'm not, I'm you not, know who's coming up. It goes Matt Stafford and Andrew Luck. It's a mm -hmm. whole... Murder's Row of quarterbacks. Oh, well, come right? to me afterwards. Remember, remember, I picked them. So come Skip, to me Skip says his biggest takeaway from that blowout yesterday was that uh, Tom Brady and the Patriots will beat Peyton Manning. At message a, sent. That was the yeah. message? Okay. Yeah, well, and and whoop-de-doo and, and, in yeah. Foxborough. Ah. Whoop-de-doo against the... the whoop-de-doo. Whoop nobody's going 15-1. and one. Did you predict... Oh, you predicted Seattle will it, go 15-1. Oh, no, yeah, go? but I, I thought they had Percy Harvin. I'm just saying, oh. see, Denver's not going... for Nobody's predicting they're going 15-1. They're going to lose to somebody. Somebody. Oh. It's early. Well, didn't you like him last Thursday night? I that still like him. Good. Okay.